The reason why every top player in the world accelerates with the leg drive, with the torso rotation, with the tip of the racket on this side is <laughs> what's going on world-class athlete. In today's video, you're going to learn exactly how to crush those short, easy balls because I'm hearing from so many players around the world and they're saying like, Grant, I'm getting into these long, frustrating rallies where my opponent's just giving me these easy shots and I'm not able to really set up and put it away just like that. I'm feeling really tight. I'm feeling tense and I was the exact same way before I learned and mastered what you're going to learn and master in this video of understanding number one, exactly how to use your feet. Number two, exactly how to use your hitting arm structure. And the third and final most important piece, what to do when you start making mistakes. Because when most players make mistakes, like they'll set up to the ball, they'll get really tight, they'll get really tense. Oh gee, I gotta make it. And then they'll tighten up their arm and they'll hit a weak shot. What you've gotta do and what you're gonna learn to master in this video, as we're gonna be working with Nala, is you're gonna learn how to channel all of that tension into your body to hit the absolute best shot ugh, under pressure just like that. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to see how we're gonna transform Nala's forehand right now. All right, Nala, I'm so excited to be working with you today, developing that world-class transfer move to crush and put away those short balls. So with all shots, what we're gonna start with as I feed is you're gonna land that wide aggressive split. Then you're gonna adjust to the ball, loading in the semi-open stance, driving off the right leg, shifting the weight forward and landing on that left with the right leg kicking back and the chest forward. That's perfect. Now, the number one key to focus on is when you're in a match and it's a point that really matters, the key is not to let that anxiety take control, but for you to take control of that anxiety. So when you're focused and your goal is to just crush and make every shot, what I want you to focus on is if you start making mistakes or you start feeling tense, really channel all of that into your feet. Channel it into more footwork, more explosive energy, and the next thing you know, you're gonna find that in pressure situations, you're actually gonna perform at your best because you're putting that energy into your legs and playing more enthusiastically. So let's jump right in. So just focus on landing that wide split, semi-open stance, loading up and driving. Yes, and then recover back and split. Prep, nice wide stance. So good, knowledge. Beautiful. Ready, wide split, load up. Gorgeous, all the way back, let's go. Love that semi-open. Yes, champ, good, load up, get those feet set. Yeah, good, two more, that's amazing. Load up, I love that, match point, let's go. Pressure's on, commit, go. Yeah, that was gorgeous, let's go. All right, so that was amazing. So what we're gonna do right now is let's go ahead and play knowledge stroke back on replay. And let's go ahead and take a look at your shot. You see it right there? <laughs> As we go through the shot, you'll see the footwork is perfect. You're loading in that semi-open stance. Then during the acceleration phase, you're driving your legs, you're rotating through it, that right leg is kicking back, your chest is going forward. Now, the number one differentiator between you and the best players in the world is notice with your backswing. In other words, when your racket goes back, watch how your racket will externally rotate and point towards the back fence as you drive your legs. But if we look at Federer, you'll see when the leg drive occurs, the racket is gonna be on the right side of the body. So that's the second element that we're gonna master. And let's jump into why that's so important in the second section. All right, Nala, so as you can see, your legs are perfect, you're loading up, everything about your shot was just world class. The number one thing we wanna correct is the positioning of the racket face when you accelerate. Now, the reason why every top player in the world accelerates with the leg drive, with the torso rotation, with the tip of the racket on this side is when the racket is on this side of the body and you accelerate, essentially what happens is because the wrist is relaxed, when you drive the legs and rotate, it creates this flip of the racket. This flip, otherwise known as the dynamic slot, creates a stretch and shorten cycle in your shoulder muscle right here and your pec. Now what this does is when you accelerate, not only is this gonna give you more power, but the flip will also allow you to generate more topspin just like that. So when you set up on these shots, instead of having the racket back and then swinging, make sure the racket is positioned out on this side. And then as you drive the legs, you'll rotate and get way more spin and power into the shot. So here's exactly how we're gonna develop it. I'm gonna feed, you're gonna let the ball go by you, drop the racket and then accelerate. So let it go by you, freeze, and then we'll see where you're at. 
and freeze. Beautiful, good, get that wide stance. That's so good, literally perfect. Good, two more. Ready, wide split, perfect unit turn, set, good. Get that racket just a little bit more back, just like that, beautiful. Ready, last one. Wide split, back immediately. Gorgeous, that's it. All right, now let it go by you, hold, ball goes by you, shadow swing, split. There it is. Okay, slow motion replay. You guys see how perfect that was? So the key checkpoint you wanna look for, just like what Nala did, when she drove her legs, the racket was here, and when you drove your legs, did you feel the weight of the racket naturally kind of lag back? Beautiful, okay. One more time like that, champ. That was gorgeous. Here we go. Ready, let it go by, prep, and leg. So good. One more, one more. Wide split, prep, let it go by, drive the leg. Good, now go ahead and get that prep position. Wait there, pull the trigger, smooth. There, so good. Wide split, set. Good, there it went back to six, one shadow, swing. Yes, so you guys see that? One of the fastest ways to learn is if you know what you're trying to improve, correct it, and every time you make the mistake and go back to the old habit, just reset, do that shadow, you're gonna start improving so much. No, you're gonna hit that ATP form by the end of the session, I'm so confident. Wide split, let it go by, shadow. That's perfect, now hit it about 10, 20% speed. Shadow, get set, perfect prep. Look at that, wide split, set, leg. Good, a little bit shorter swing, wide split, get there. That's it, one shadow, let it by. Perfect, all right, I think you're ready. Let's, let's show them how to do it, ready? Big leg drive, let's go. So good, wide split. Oh, that last one went back a little bit. One shadow, let it go by, feel it. Perfect, go for it. Went back, great legs though, just went back a little bit, set. Better. Wide split, work those legs. So gorgeous, look at that, all the way recover. Really get that 530, forward. Yes, good, way to get that weight in there, so much better. Wide split, go. Good, fluid, fluid, fluid. Let's go. Oh my goodness, Nala. All right, so did you guys see how much she improved already just from those few drills? So let's just look at it from the very beginning and then just after those few drills. Such a huge improvement, such a massive amount of progress. Her focus and energy is off the charts. That's why she's gonna be at the highest level of the game. Now, let's go ahead and close this video with the number one shot that you can use when you're going out on the court and you find yourself making mistakes. Because isn't it true that even with the best form in the world, you're gonna make mistakes? So you're gonna understand exactly what type of shot to hit in order to maximize your chances of success and up that consistency. All right, world-class athletes. So I want you to put yourself in your next match and you're playing against a weaker player or you've earned that short ball. You're loading up, you really wanna go and kill this shot, but you keep finding yourself for whatever reason, you might be off that day, but you just keep missing your shot. So here's a move that you can use that's very similar to what you just learned about how you can still close points, how you can still feel proud of yourself, still feel confident and be able to hit great shots while still having that really high level of margin and consistency. Because isn't it true, if you go into a match with a backup plan, you're gonna feel more safe, you're gonna feel more confident, you're gonna play at a higher level because you know if you start making mistakes, you know how to correct yourself and get back on track. So here's exactly the variation that I want you to implement. And Nala's gonna do this. As you split, instead of accelerating more forward, you're gonna drive up with more tops and like that. Here we go, a few more. So you're gonna get set, Load up in that semi-open stance and then tilt. So as you can see, as I'm accelerating, instead of driving more forward, what you actually wanna do is play it safer. Create more topspin by laterally tilting the trunk to the side and really brushing up on that ball. So even if I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so tight. This is an important point. I've gotta make this shot. Oh my gosh, instead of going for it, I can just generate uh, more spin and it's safer. So when you set up, remember, you're nervous, you gotta make the shot, channel it into your feet, channel into the trunk, and laterally tilt and get that top spin, and you're gonna find yourself still being able to be consistent under those pressure situations. So let's see Nala jump right in and crush this shot. Let's go, champ. All right, so everything's the same. You're gonna get that pro prep, just tilt and get a little bit more top spin on that. All right, okay, Nala, work the feet. Here we go. It's a really wide split, adjust. So good. Nice, work those legs, adjust. Good, oh my gosh, ready, get that at 530, load up. Good top spin, really rip that spin. Oh my gosh, let's go, load up. Beautiful, that's it, way to correct. Come on, 
good. Feel that 5.30 prep. Consolidate those gains. Beautiful. Hold with two hands a little bit longer. Hold that unit turn. Drop. That's what I'm talking about. Heavy spin. This matters. Good. This matters. Show me three top spins in a row. Ready? Three in a row. One. Hey, show me 5.30. Come on. There it is. So close. I love your focus. There it is. Way to fight. You're almost there, champ. Load that 5.30. There it is. Get a little bit more margin. Yes, that's so good. So as you guys can see, Nala, for whatever reason, she might have lost a little bit of them, but she was so smart there at the end. If you guys find yourself making mistakes, don't decelerate, don't take pace off, but be intelligent like Nala. You'll see on that last shot, she played a higher shot, a more spin shot. That's gonna create more safety. Let's see you knock out three more of those. Ready, here we go. If you find yourself off rhythm, play with more spin, play a little bit higher, keep working that good form. So good, look at that, it's so quality. Get set, there we go. This is how you go, load up, legs. Yeah, they're so good champ, you're amazing. All right, okay guys, Nala absolutely crushed it. She did such a great job. If you guys love this, if you guys felt like you got a lot of value from this, click the link in my description. I can work with you one-on-one -on -one and give you access to specific drills, just like we worked on with Nala, to allow you to grow your game at the fastest possible rate. I had such an amazing time shooting this video with you. I had a great time being here with Nala. Hope you guys loved it, and I'll see you on next week's video. Let's go!